Can coronavirus spread through secondhand smoke? Good question. Here's Joe Chiodo. COVID-19 is known to attack a person's lungs, and one of our best defenses against that is to make sure they're strong and healthy in the first place. For many, that starts by stopping smoking. There's no better time to quit than today for smoking. While scarring to your lungs can't be reversed, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says there are several short-term benefits when you quit smoking. One of the first things to heal, the cilia in your lungs. So the cilia are, are tiny hair-like follicles that help to trap damaged viruses, uh, debris, and move that debris upwards out of your lungs so it doesn't stay there and cause issues. And so it acts as one of the main defense systems against infection. And so without that, I think Smokers, unfortunately, are a little bit defenseless. When you quit smoking, you're also helping to reduce the inflammation in your lungs, allowing you to take deeper breaths and not get as easily winded. People who have pre-existing lung conditions, uh, have pre-existing respiratory conditions such as COPD, cystic fibrosis, um, may have um, existing issues related to their lung health because of smoking. But according to medical experts, non-smokers can also be impacted. If a smoker is infected with COVID-19, it is possible that smoke the individual breathes out carries the virus. If an individual is close to a person smoking who has the virus, he or she could breathe in that same smoke. The same goes for vaping. Smokers are breathing in and exhaling out whatever his or her body is carrying. And because of damage to a smoker's lungs, they could become sicker for a longer period of time. And it explains a lot of why uh, a smoker who develops a common cold may develop a prolonged cough for, you know, sometimes weeks to months. Doctors are also warning that if a neighbor smokes, make sure to close windows to block the smoke from coming into your home. Joe Chiodo, KCTV 5 News.